I don't know. Immediately he stood by my side. The lady that was our pastor's daughter in front began to manifest. She manifested that she became unconscious. I didn't touch her. Now, the issue was so terrible that three hours after the service, she was still unconscious. So the people, the neighbors now came and said, uh, Olga, make you bring her back. <laughs> that was where she started confessing that she was part of the witchcraft covenant. And that they came to visit my house. You waited? Wait. Yes, we visited your house. There were three of us that came. And when we came to your house, you were sleeping. But you were sleeping in a pool of fire. I, I'm, I'm trying to... Are you there? I will end with some metaphors. Tomorrow we'll continue. You were sleeping in a pool of fire. And we're told in the coven that those Christians that have that sleep in fire, that walk in fire, those ones should not be touched. If not, they will die. Are you there? That's how the presence of God looks like in the immortal realm. It looks either like a cloud or a fire. So we will now go to the Bible. I will now give you an insight into the cloud and the fire tomorrow. She described the angel that was standing by my right hand exactly what I saw. So I knew she was not lying. And she also told me that she knew that I would be the one to deliver her. That day when I came, the first time that that angel visited me, that came to support me outside my room, I was learning because I didn't know this thing. I didn't know that installed in the presence of God is a massive functional infrastructure. Massive functional infrastructure. And that was why I left Kano without any scar. They tried, but it failed. The reason was because I was sleeping in fire. With the anointing, you can influence people around. But the fire, first of all, is a protective gear that God puts around your life so that you will not be a victim of satanic backlash. That was how we did damage to the kingdom of darkness in Kano. We held the first ever crusade in Bompai Barracks. Those of you that know Kano. That was the first time in my life in 2002 that I saw a cripple walk on a crusade ground. That presence began to follow me outside. Before it was locked up in my room, a time came, it began to follow me on the streets. I remember I had an accident on a bike. Are you there? I was, I was unconscious for two minutes, for two seconds, and I saw myself on the other side of the gutter. And the bike man and the bike were grounded. That presence took me over the gutter. And I was standing with my... And, and the angel brought my bag to my side. Like this. I was trying to understand what was happening to me. The angel that crossed me over the gutter, meanwhile the bike man and the bike, the bike crossed. And the bike man crossed in the gutter. I was, he crossed me with my bag like this. So when my eyes opened, I saw myself on the other side of the gutter. My bike man was gone. I stopped the next bike. I continued my trip. I was trying to understand what was happening to me. I have been a student of that infrastructure since that time. For 20 years. I can tell you one or two things about it. You want to carry it? It will cost you everything. Most people are not ready. In the midst of the cherubim, shine forth. <laughs> he who dwells in the midst of the cherubim, shine forth. <laughs> he who dwells 
in the midst of the cherubim. Shine for, shine for he who dwell in the midst of the cherubim. Shine for, <laughs> shine for, shine like the fire, shine like the rain. Shine forth, shine forth, shine like the fire, shine like the rain. He kept my back on the other side with me. It was a demon that set us up so that I would not survive that day. He didn't bother to tell me that I was under attack. When the moment came, he did a miracle. I know the presence of God. It's a dreadful place to a man that is living in, in iniquity. But it's a purifying place to a man that is ready to walk the works of God. So when it comes like full as soap, I can refine as fire begins to refine you. It's, 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 it's a sweet experience. But, an experience of terror to anyone that is living in iniquity. That presence began to follow me from place to place. We've been to various nations preaching the gospel, including places that are notable for witchcraft domination. And we've seen those territories open to the gospel of the kingdom like bread, like bread. I remember we went to Wales. That's where Merlin, you know Merlin? You know Merlin? That's, that's his hometown. In fact, when you're entering into the, the region of Wales, you will see Merlin's dragon red to the heavens. An engineering feet with an arrow on his tongue and an arrow on his tail. That's what will welcome you, the dragon of Merlin. To show you that it's witchcraft territory. I saw what demons did to pastors that are trying to labor in the territory. Oh my. We saw great miracles. Great signs. Great wonders. The land open. Are you with me? I know the presence of which I speak. And it is God's will and every one of us will be a carrier of this presence. There is he that dwells in the midst of the cherubims. He needs to shine. He needs to shine. <laughs> Ooh, I saw demons come out of white people. We were in a meeting and I saw the spirit of death. I said, wow, you are here? And I explained to the congregation that the spirit of death is on somebody. And when I released the power of God, the white lady screamed. Ah! And I called her and said, have you ever screamed like this in your life? She, she doesn't understand what is. I said, yeah, yeah. The death is looking for you. <laughs> death. I know it. I, so I had to explain to her, because she was white, I had to explain to her that you see, I am in the ministry of deliverance and I know how to spot devils. I deal with them. You say, I've been following you, so I know you. You don't need to explain. I say, oh my God, that's great. And that's how we casted out that spirit from that. There are two cities I entered into that you could feel Satan very raw. It, one of them is Boya in Cameroon. Boya. Oh, you've been there? The other one is London. Oh, some of you believe that it is when you enter Europe that your life will start. For most of you, it might end there. If you don't know the presence of God, you might come back home like Naomi. <laughs> he who dwells in the midst of the 
Can you pray a prayer tonight? I want to be a carrier of your presence. I want to carry it. That is a weight of your glory that I must know. I want to carry it. Siamo un teli mukela manda uska file mokori. Yenino moseke balado isko.